When you talk about the mentality of D'Angelo Russell right now, what mind state is he in going into the second half of the season? I want to read y'all a quote, get y'all reaction to it. He says he's really having fun out here. And respectfully, my approach is all these people came to see AD and LeBron. But I'm here to steal the show. What do y'all think about that mindset for D'Angelo Russell? Is that is that a good mindset? Or should he fall back and allow those other two to do what they do? That's good. I like it. That's a Kobe mindset. I was about to say, that sounds like a killer to me. I don't know. I don't know. That sounds like a killer to me. Can that can that affect this team chemistry cold in a negative way though? You know what our roster is about. Um and you know, by default, I think any team could use a killer, but just can he be defined as a killer just because he's playing well as of late and he's talking big? I think that we would need to see more of a sample size to kind of put him in that type of category. And would you be willing to see him trying to force it? this season to try to be a killer like what do you think about the negative effects that could be on this team um i think i think obviously like it's it's a killer mindset but i think if he does get to the point where he's like forcing the like forcing the shots forcing the drives then it's gonna be bad uh he operates best like within that flow state where everybody's like everybody's getting the ball or he's in a pick and roll so I, I think we kill teams like that. But, like, forcing – like, if he start forcing shots and stuff, it, it's going to get really bad. Is he still the worst point guard in the Pacific Division, respectfully? Steph. You got De'Aaron. Steph. You got Harden. You got De'Aaron Fox. You got – uh. We're in Harden talks. Wait a minute. <laughs> in Harden conversations? Okay. So, yeah, we, we, we fighting for that – what's that, fifth spot? Cause I still got Steph, got Steph. De'Aaron Fox, mm-hmm. um, and it's all it's all about how you define point guard. You know how that goes. Oh yeah, God. who's the point guard for Phoenix? Does Devin run that show? It's it's Booker. Yeah. It's Booker. He's running one. He's not better than Booker. If we're talking about true point guards, then D'Lo run that division. But you yeah. know, oh, 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 if we're talking about true point guards, who Harden, that's it. Like, I, okay. <laughs> so as far as we, point guard, D'Angelo hmm? was the best point guard in the what in the Pacific Division. Yeah. And I'm yeah. standing on it. <laughs> <laughs> so fellas, playoffs are coming, and hopefully these Lakers are definitely in it, uh, one way or another. When we talk about responsibility. Of D'Angelo Russell in the postseason. Where do y'all feel like his responsibility lies at? Does he need to be a defined third wheel? Should he be chasing being the second wheel? Should he be in his mind trying to compete to be the second best player on the team? What should his mindset be for the playoffs? I think his mind should his mindset should be get the team, like get the stars going. I think that's the the mindset. Get the stars going and get his. If he can, if he can get uh AD his post touches, or he could catch LeBron on this back cut right here, the game opens up so much. It opens up so much when when LeBron is just half back diving to the goal and there's nothing the other team can do about it. He's gonna get his shots, Reed's gonna get his shot, Rui's gonna get his shot, and we win games like that. I do like his aggression, though. I, I, I feel, I, I to be honest, because the way D'Angelo has been playing as of late, I'm just like, bro, let LeBron facilitate and deal with getting everybody else involved. D'Lo, scoring should be your first option right now. At least right now, if you get the green light to do so. I, I really like his, uh, his, his aggression. I want to see more of that. I, even if he's not scoring, I just want to see him slash into the lane. Like you said, like he's just drawing defenders real smooth with that basketball, bro. It's, it's, it's beautiful to watch. I, I can't wait. Hank, what do you think about his responsibilities in the playoffs for the Lakers to be successful? D'Angelo Russell. Definitely want to keep his confidence there. So I would say, you know, he's going to get the other two going, but it depends on matchups. If D'Lo 
sees a matchup where he's favored, I think they should let him go ham. And I think he he talked about that in the article about matchups when he felt like he was at a point where he can win it. He won ham. So I think they need to do that as well. D Low or Austin Reeves, Cole. D Low been better. Come on. Now. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, because you know what the conversations were like in the offseason. Those were nasty. D Low is always the third best player. <laughs> yeah. D Low over Rui Hachimura. D Low. All right. So I think we've established that D'Angelo Russell is the solidified third guy on the Lakers, what do you want to call big three, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's what we've been calling for this whole time, remember? Yeah. We say he need to be the third guy because he's he's the one that's held the flag in the league so far. You know? Gotcha. He's the best shooter. He's the – oh, is he a better passer than Brooke? No, 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 no. Second best passer. He's the primary ball handler. Like, he, he's the third best player. He make less mistakes than LeBron James, I think. Yeah. That's I probably got the look, like, but I think he does – Make less. Well, yeah. fellas, it's interesting we brought this up here on Lake of Land. If you guys are on a YouTube channel for Lake of Land and the Best of Seven, we are double streaming this afternoon, so we appreciate you guys popping up. Make sure y'all smash that like button for us. Help us get this video live stream out. Also, just a quick reminder, man, follow our VIP room. We're giving guys free access to our Lake of Land playback.tv room, so go to playback.tv slash Lake of Land. And follow the room. We got free VIP access for all the Laker game watch parties. We also do the live Laker Land podcast once a week over there. Shout out to Playback TV. For the latest and greatest on your Los Angeles Lakers, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers and we appreciate the support. Follow us on social media at Laker Land Show and join our Playback TV room for our free VIP access to our Lakers watch parties and, of course, the Laker Land podcast. That's playback.tv slash Lakerland.